Good morning. Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm here with two very lovely young ladies, Ashley and Brittany. They were with the, the USA luge team. Is that accurate? Yeah. Saying it right? <laughs> I was asking them earlier, do you call yourself losers? They're like, no, that sounds too, too much like losers. We call ourselves sliders, which I thought was really funny, which is cute. Hi, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for you guys. Thanks for having us. So this is a sport, and I'll be honest, that I have watched, and it just makes me cringe because it looks so scary, <laughs> just rocketing down. So talk about a little bit about yourselves and how you got into this and you know the excitement of this sort of sport and being at Lake Placid to train this year and to compete this year. Can we talk about that? Brittany, you want to go first, or Ashley, you're the one. Yeah, we actually got started <laughs> in the same program. On actually, the same day. <laughs> on the same day, it's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> uh, so we both went to. Um, Ecker Hill. Ecker Hill. Sorry, it's been a while. That's okay. Um, and they, the Youth Sports Alliance has a after-school program. So I think it was in November, three Fridays in a row. They took us in a little van from right after school up to the Olympic Park, and we slid in just on the track first time, which is actually kind of different than most people get started in the sport. So. Yeah. Um, there's actually a slider search that USA Luge hosts that goes around the country. They're actually in Salt Lake City this weekend for anyone that is interested. <laughs> um, and they actually start the kids out on wheels on a paved road. So that's a little bit different. Sure. Uh, sure. All of our teammates, we're actually the only ones right now at our level from Park City, from Utah at all. And so we're the only ones that actually started on ice, which is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> started on ice. Nice. Yeah. Go ahead, Ashley. Um, yeah, I mean, we've been through, what is it now, like eight years together, yeah. starting on the same day, and we were roommates for a year in Lake Placid, and um, honestly, it just never gets boring, and I think that's what attracts most people, because it's not a super well-known sport, but for those, like, thrill seekers and the ones who hate routine, <laughs> it definitely fits. Yeah. I think it's pretty well-known, but I think a lot of us are like, oh. No one know, wants to do it. Of, a lot of, yeah, so, so what is it about you girls that are willing to, like, do the sport to put yourself in this <laughs> position and, and just rock it down. It's just it's, it's just fun. Yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> say it's so fun. I mean, if I I always say like if I can come up the outrun every day with a smile on my face, then it's all worth it. And I'm having if I'm enjoying myself, which we always are. It's it's hard to not have fun when you do what we do. Like you're in other countries all the time. You're traveling. You're with some of like your best friends, and you're doing like your favorite sport. What's not to love? <laughs> so you girls are what age when you started? Um, you Eleven. I, I was twelve. Eleven and twelve. So you're not even you're not even twenty yet. I, yeah, I'm twenty. I'm nineteen. You're twenty and nineteen. My goodness, and you guys have your careers rocketing down. <laughs> That's awesome. Actually, it's super incredible. So okay, let's talk about the fact that you are back on your home track in Lake Placid this year, and talk about what's going to be happening. Yeah. Um, so. This is my first year actually with the national team. On previous years, I've been with the junior national team. Okay. I'm a little too old now. Um, <laughs> Which seems odd to say. I know, <laughs> right? Um, so this is going to be my first World Cup in Lake Placid. So that's going to be really interesting. I've never raced really on a track that I've been so comfortable on. And um, yeah, I'm really excited. And Ashley's actually sliding here this year. Yeah, I'm still on the junior circuit, and we have a double World Cup here in Park City in November. So we get to slide four races right back to back. And I mean, that's my home track. I started here, lived here my whole life. So I'm really excited to see what it's like to face the other competitors on somewhere that I know like the back of my hands. Talk about the intensity of competition in this sport. Yeah, so even though there's not too many of us, like you'll never see a race with more than 50 to 60 people. It's hardcore. Like we race down to the thousandth. And oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We're one of two sports that, you know, times to the thousandth of a second. It's because you're going so fast. Yeah. It's yeah. So, so you, can, you can win or lose a race in the blink of an eye. Like you just lift your toe and it's gone. So <laughs> it's intense. And you're also racing against your teammates who you live with and I mean, I'm with Ashley almost every day of the year. <laughs> this is, I mean, yeah. we're not training right now this week, so this is my first time seeing her, but when we're in Lake Placid and we're on the road, it's every day. So competing against your best friends and your teammates, it can be kind of tough, um, but also we're, we're a team. So we have to make, you know, we have that team dynamic at the same time. Sure. And we're always rooting for each other on the road, but 
yeah, it's it's when it comes down to it, you want to win. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You you are aiming to be you know, yes, of course. So so talk about that. You talked about if you lift one little toe, it's a thousandth. You get onto the thousandth, and also you're racing against your friends. So talk about the mental preparation you have to do for this sort of before you get up there and you you head down. Like what sort of me mental preparation do you have to do to go through to for, to, to to win to win? <laughs> I mean, it's. It's pretty tough. I mean, I think you have to be very mentally tough in any sport. Like, if you start getting in your head, that's when it all goes downhill. But, <laughs> 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 She's clever. <laughs> but, I mean, we have these things called mind runs. Well, we just close our eyes and go down the track in our heads just to kind of prep for our run. And that's just um, a lot of athletes do that just to kind of get a feel for the track before they go down. Because once you go down, like, it, it's on the line. You have to be perfect or it's over you know yeah and everyone has their own routines to get in the zone I mean and that's with any sport you listen to music when we do our warm-ups everyone has their own routine and for me if that kind of gets messed up I'm a little messed up in the head but all of us kind of have our own ways of getting back to where we need to be mentally to be on the track I mean that's for racing and training because if you're kind of like a mess if you know if you're upset about something, it's not really the best because you you are, you're, you're, your life is in your hands and sure. it's, <laughs> you're going really fast on yeah. a shoot of ice. Regardless it's, if it's race or training day, you still have to be in the zone. <laughs> yeah, right. And so you guys are training for the 2018 Winter Olympics. 2022. 2022. 2022. Oh, sorry, I just read, I just saw 2018 in here and I said it. Yeah. Exactly, yes. So talk about what has to be involved in all of that. Well, we actually kind of got a taste of it this past yeah. year with the Olympics because we, we were, were both. both in the Olympic pool. So we both were one of uh, six. 10 or, or six women and I think 16 total athletes in the Olympic pool. And um, so we kind of got a taste of it. Going into this next four years, <laughs> I think we both know that if we want to make it to the Olympics, we have to be our best every single day. We have to oh, train yeah. really hard and it's a tough field and there's a lot of really good athletes, not only in the United States, but in the world. Yeah, definitely. And like so many people have been like, oh, it's the first year of the quad, like you can take a break, but you really can't. Like, you know right. that none of your competitors are taking a break, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you take the break, I'm gonna be training. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I wanna wish you both the best of luck. Thank and you. thank you for thank representing you. Park City, Ashley, of course. Brittany, of course. And, and people can check out um, the actually the Lake Placid uh, event and competition on on TV. So we'll yeah. keep an eye out for that as well. Do you do you know the date of that? I I believe okay, it's like the the 16th and the 17th of December, whatever that weekend is. Yes, December 15th. Yes. Okay. Except for 15th and 16th. Yes. Yeah. I'm glad I have a cheat sheet. <laughs> I can look at look at things. So people can actually check that out and, mm -hmm. and, and keep up with what you how you guys are doing and, and the competition and yeah for so. sure. And if there's any local kids this weekend, there's a slider search down in Salt Lake City. Oh, and that's great. if people yeah. go to, to usaluge.org, they can sign up and they're all, they'll take walk-ons, you know, if you didn't register. Oh, very so good. I don't actually It'll know the location. Fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and so it's a tryout for our team. There you go. USA Luge, U-S-A-L-U-G-E, L-U-G-L-U-G-E dot org. If you guys want to check this out or walk on and just see if you're any good at it and if you love it. Yeah. Not. So we take so. kids like up to 12 usually. So okay. if you have any kids. Got to start them young. young. Wonderful. <laughs> Ashley, Brittany, thank you so much. Yeah. Best of luck. Thank, thank you. So glad you guys could be on the show today. You're Thanks so much fun. I'm you. excited to watch your careers as you guys head forward. <laughs> thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Do not go anywhere. We have much more to come this morning on the Mountain Morning Show.